What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode three of Evolution Everton, where in today's episode, we will indeed be getting our first Everton Evolution. Now, other things to run you guys through is my starter squad, the fact that we need about four billion points to get into foot champs. We can have a little talk about what the foot champs squad is going to be. And most importantly, the evolutions, who we're going to do, what we're going to do with the other stuff, the fact that Tarkovsky might be getting an inform is kind of throwing a spanner in the works at some of the Evos. I'll show you guys some sneaky tips that you can get if you want to put some players that you might think you might be able to evolve and actually make them really good. So lots to do. First of all, I'm going to run you guys through my starter squad and then I'm going to show you the squad we're actually going to play with as well. So I will quickly put in the players that we already have, that you guys already know. And then I'll show you the ones that I've bought. We haven't spent many coins. You can see I've got 44,000 coins there. We haven't gone crazy. We're not breaking the bank. This is just the starter squad to do the evolution games for my players with, to start grinding some of the rivals and get some tokens. And then we will potentially do the Madison SBC. I feel like the Madison one is quite feasible for me to just do now. He's 48K. I could quite literally buy the cards to do it with if I just sniped a couple cheap. But obviously we've got loads of stuff in the club as well. De Bruyne's 178, and there's only four days left to do them at the time of recording this video. By the time you guys are watching this video, I think it expires on Friday, doesn't it? So there'll be like a day or two. So please let me know if you think I should go absolutely mental and try and get this De Bruyne, put him in the Foot Champs team. Obviously, we're going to be Everton themed, but not every single player will be an Everton player because then I'll be playing Foot Champs with Michalenko at left back. We're not doing that. Anyway, players that we already have. If I pop this onto Untradeable, we have got ourselves, of course, Dan Juma. Packed him in the last episode. We also packed ourselves a Depay, which is class. So that's two very, very good players who also link together, which is very nice. We've got ourselves a Beto that we bought. There's a little bit of a spoiler for you guys, so I'll go and pop him in. We bought ourselves a Ben Godfrey to go in the team as well, because as far as Everton starter players go, he is one of the best ones as well. 700 coins, 82 pace. Can't go wrong. The other player we've got, we packed ourselves an Onana, I think. Or did I buy him? I bought Onana because I needed to put a catalyst on someone to do an objective. And I thought I was probably going to evolve Onana at some point. So, so he's him. We've also, at centre-back, got another first owner player, which is the first woman going into my team as well. Alex Greenwood played against her in Squad Builder Showdown against James. And because of this playstyle plus, she's absolutely unbelievable. So you can't sell her anyway because EA don't know how to sort price ranges out. And you, she doesn't sell for min, which is 2,700. So we may as well use her. To get here some chemistry, we have gone and got ourselves a Demi Stokes, who is, again, nice and cheap. 650 coins, 87 pace. Gets a perfect link to Alex Greenwood. And then if we go down to the manager and pop in a WSL manager, they just get full chemistry. So in goes my beard. Thank you very much. I was then looking to get some chemistry for the pie. Got four Everton players. They're all on chem. We need to get some chem for the pie. So what we need to get is some La Liga players, basically, that at least link to each other in some way. So at right back, I went and picked up a Molina, who 85 pace, 86 stamina, a thousand coins, bargain in the team he goes. I went and got a man by the name of Sergi Darda, who is an 83 who actually has a fixed price range. Which is really odd. I'm not really sure what EA are playing at, but for 2,500 coins, he's quality. He's half Hullet Gang, half 70 Gang. Pretty good for a starter player, if you ask me. Very nice all round centre mid. Got myself Robert One, who's got 84 pace. And again, stats over 70 odd, 180 in dribbling. Nice solid little centre mid to go in there. And we picked ourselves up a board to go in goal because one of the most frustrating things on Ultimate Team, on FIFA, is having a terrible goalie because there's nothing you can do to even try and make them be able to be good. It's all controlled by the computer, so we've at least picked ourselves up an 83-rated Unai Simon. Now, that is great. That is my starter squad that I was going to rock with. However, a little bit of a tip for you guys. If you're going through and doing the objectives, whether that is score 75 for nest goals, whether that is doing the seasonal stuff to do the founder objectives to get enough XP to get your 80 times 10 pack, whatever it may be, EA have brought out a new milestone, hidden away all the way down at the bottom here, is the Squad Foundation's Eredivisie. Now, you might look at these cards and think, you know what, I'm never going to put them in my team. But, as you do these, you actually get quite a few different cards. At, at worst, they're a bit of fodder. 
at most, they might actually make it into the team. There's a Stillerson, which is pretty cool for a Dutch goalie. There's this small guy who is pretty cool for a Dutch left back. You get them two as you do in the objectives. You complete the whole thing. You get Driuch, who looks absolutely class. 92 pace. Free start, free start. 96 stamina is not particularly relevant because I'd probably use him as a super sub, but he's got 98 agility, 96 balance, 84 strength, 94 sprint speed. They are some mental stats. 91 dribbling as well. So what we're going to do, essentially, because of these objectives, is just throw some Eredivisie players into the team. You have to assist five goals with an Eredivisie player. You have to score 10 goals with an Eredivisie player. You could just go on semi-pro score battles and do both of them in one game very, very easily. However, you have to play 10 matches and win six matches. So, rather than me sitting there and just AFK in 10 squad battles, I thought we'd just lash two Eredivisie players into our team. And whilst we're playing in Div 10, whilst we're doing the evolutions, whilst we're just trying to get some Div Rivals tokens to get into foot champs, we'll do it. And once we've played the 10 games, they don't particularly fit in the team, so we will just get rid of them. But it's no harm chucking in this Halijovic and this Trauner, I don't really think. So in they are going to go. What we're going to do, we'll just lash this guy in, in the middle for Onana. And we'll move Ben Godfrey to right back. In fact, we won't do it for Onana because that loses everyone else chemistry. We'll do it for Robert 1. Sorry, Robert. We'll do that. Fine, not bad. We're going to do our 10 era Divisi games and we are going to start getting some Div Rivals tokens. The next big question, I'm sure on everyone's lips, is Dan Juma or Beto? Now, I've got a confession to make. A combination of delays in editing and delays in the thumbnail being delivered and delays with the thumbnail being delivered because I didn't tell the thumbnail guy early enough about what thumbnail I needed has meant that whilst I'm recording this video, episode one still isn't out. Now, I don't want to wait too long before I get all of this stuff done because there's lots to do before the first foot champs. We need to do the Nike objectives. We need to build our first foot champs team. We need to actually qualify for foot champs with the foot champs tokens and play in the qualifying game. So there's loads to do and I didn't want to wait around too long. So I am eagerly awaiting to see what you guys say about Dan Juma versus Beto. But I also can't wait that long to see what you guys say. So I've been talking to the chat on Twitch. If you guys want to come and get involved in this live and getting a bit of a feel about that there, I've been tweeting about it as well. If you follow me on Twitter, I've been asking what people think about their two different evolutions and everyone who's got either of them has basically just said both of them are class. So then it really, I think, just comes down to my own personal attachment to them. And one of the things I'm most excited about this Road to Glory for is because I can't actually use Everton players. We've just beaten, we've Everton have actually won a game in real life. So Ev Evolution Everton is off to a flyer because the players in real life have decided that they'd like to evolve my team as well. And we might be getting an informed Tarkovsky. Now, I was very excited because I would quite like to put Informed Tarkovsky into this. Well, I was going to put normal Tarkovsky into this Pacey Protector Evolution and get him plus 15 pace, plus 3 defending, plus 3 passing, plus 5 physical, and just make him a lot, lot better and actually usable. However, if I'm going to potentially get an Inform one on Wednesday, which is, I presume, when you guys will be watching this video, so you guys will know already if this is going to have happened, there's no point evolving a normal one when you can get the info. Now, there's some of you in my Twitch chat currently saying you can't evolve special cards. That is completely incorrect. You can put informs into these evolution things. There is restrictions on some of them. Obviously, there's restrictions on all of them to do with their stats. This one has to be a rare, for example. You can't put an inform into this. I don't think, unless an inform counts as rare, in which case, yes, you can. You can't put a non-rare in it, but maybe you could put an inform in. This one could be anything, as long as it's max 80 rated. This one's max 80 rated, a centre-back, etc, etc, etc. So the reason I'm not going to be able to put Inform Tarkovsky into this is because Tarkovsky's a 79. So when he gets an Inform, it would be 82, and he won't fulfil the criteria of this anymore. However, the exciting part of this is that doesn't then make me think, oh, this is annoying, I need to upgrade Tarkovsky to make him good because his Inform is there, but not going to be great. No. If we go and take a look at Matt's Hummels, EA have seemed to have actually pulled their finger out their arse with informs this year and perhaps some of it is because of the evos like it's absolutely pointless re releasing 
a informed Tarkovsky that is worse than what normal Tarkovsky would be if you Evo them. So with that in mind, EA have given Hummels plus 17 pace on his inform. Plus two defending is pretty standard. Plus three physical is pretty standard. Three passing, three dribbling, two shooting. Bog standard, but 17 pace to actually make him usable. So I'm thinking if EA drop an informed Tarkovsky, it's going to be as good as the Evo one, if not better. Which means I've got a free Evo slot. So I need you guys to let me know who I should be evolving in that thing. Godfrey can't go in. Branthwaite can't go in. Keane can, but isn't great. So then if there's any ex-Everton defenders that you guys can think of that would be good to go into the pacey protector Evo, let me know down in the comment section. The next bit of advice for you guys, if you're doing Evos when you get this game, is... Welcome to Evolutions turns any card that's under 80 rated or 80 and below into an Evos card. Obviously, just gives them a plus one in everything, which is very nice. Gets you going. It's free to do. It's dead easy to do. You just have to play two games. What is most interesting about this is this Golden Glow turns a bronze into a gold. And then there's a part two that's a lot harder to do. You have to then go and assist goals and play games in rivals and actually win games and score goals and stuff like that. It's much more difficult. It's not just a case of play two games, play three games. But it turns an Evoed center mid, because it's meant to be the one that you get out of this, in theory, into an even better Evoed center mid. So if I put Amadou Onana into Welcome to Evos, I get myself this Onana, a 77. Quite nice. We could also do the same thing with Ducore. So that is another question to you guys. Which one do you think I should do? The good thing about that is I now have an Evo'd centre mid Onana. And I can take him and put him in Golden Glow of Pod 2. And get myself a much, much, much better Onana or Ducore. So bear that in mind when you guys are doing it. If, like me, you aren't really seeing an, a bronze card that you think... I mean, you can still do the bronze. You can just only do half of it and get it to the 80 instead of the all the way up to 84. Do a bronze. But if you support Everton and you want a decent Ducorio or Nana, stick them into Welcome to Evolutions and then stick them into Golden Glow of Part 2 and you can get a really, really good one with a double boost. That, I'm sure, works for lots and lots of different clubs. It's a smart way to do it. You can also do that with... In fact, people... Was, I was saying, I don't know if you can not put a special card into it, Founders Evo. You can because you can put somebody in Welcome to Evolutions and then put them into Founders Evolutions. You can also put someone into Welcome to Evo and then into Relentless Winger. The most common thing that people are doing for that is Fatty because you can put Ansu Fatty into this and then put him into Relentless Winger and he is ridiculous. But that is boring. Don't do that. Pick players from your team. So I might put Jack Harrison into Relentless Winger, but we've got 14 days until it expires. So what I'm going to do is cross my fingers that Everton's next game against Luton, I think it is, on the weekend, which will be the one that actually counts towards Team of the Weeks. It is. McNeil goes on a mad one and gets an inform, basically is what I'm praying for there. Although, oh no, but then he would he be 79 rated? Oh, that's, I don't know whether he would. This is the, this is where it's difficult to decide what to do. McNeil's 76, so I think he'd be an 80 if you got an inform. Decisions, decisions. Inform McNeil, put Harrison into this. Basically, what I'm doing is waiting for informs to come out before we commit to spending 50k. I'm waiting for informs to come out before I commit to upgrading Tarkovsky. However, one thing that I am committing to is evolving Beto. I have championed Dan Juma as one of the best players, the best player to do just in this thing in general, I guess. He is the best one you can do. Just as the Pacey Protector one, the best one you can do is Ansu Fati. However... For my emotional attachment and my commitment to this road to glory and my happiness when I see him score, Beto is the one. That's what's so good about this road to glory is that, yes, I want a good team and I want to do well, but I'm not just buying Mbappe like everyone else is going to. Everyone did that last year and it does get a bit boring. There's no sentimental value. There's no emotional attachment to it. It's not Michael Whitehead from the career mode, you know? Having that special player, when Whitehead scored, we riot because he's the youth player. He's the one that we've brought up. He's the one we're attached to. Would I be as attached to a Dan Juma? I don't think so. He's good. He's on loan. 
at Everton in real life. He snaked us to go to Spurs and not play last year. And do you know what? I've got no problem with that in real life if he plays well and scores goals, which he has been doing. This, though, this is Beto. This is the man. This is a guy who's getting mad strength, mad shooting, mad pace, boosting weak foot. He is going in the club, and I'm going to absolutely love him. So my Evo is going to be Beto. Come on! Let's get into some... We're going to do it in Div Rivals, because we may as well. Because we have to get tokens. Let's get into Div Rivals, and let's get upgrading Beto. All right, then. Into our first Div Rivals game we go. We are Div 10. We haven't played a single game on this account. We haven't got any chem styles or anything like that. We've done some incredibly basic custom tactics. We're playing this formation. I've told Beto to stay central and my fullbacks to stay back. And that's about it. We're jumping in. We're going Founders Kit versus Founders Kit. We've got our Eredivisie players in. And we are looking forward to earning about 12 tokens. If I play about 4 million games of Div Rivals in the next five days to get enough tokens for Foot Champs and then here you go. Thanks for being a founder. Here's 2,000 Foot Champs tokens. I am honestly going to lose the plot. However, let's see who we're playing against. Have we missed the team? Or have I? did I miss the team whilst I was ranting? Maybe I missed the team while I was ranting. Never mind. We're off. Come on, the boys. Go on, Beto. Go on, Beto. Go on, Beto. Go on, Beto! Go on, lads. Oh, we're starting as we mean to go on. A Beto gritty. Oh my god, he's got Van Dyke. Beto is bullying Van Dyke. He's left footed. Jesus Christ. Can we? Okay, we're going to have to have a look at these settings. What has just happened? All right, we've just discovered that horrendous shot is A, because he's left footed, but B, because of precision shooting. But what that also means is my goal with Beto was even more of my own doing, and so is this one. Oh! You get more accurate shots if you aim properly, but if you aim badly, you get worse shots, obviously. It's not quite manual. It's the new semi-assisted, essentially. I think it's going to be good for a skill gap. I'm not sure how good I'm going to be at it, but, you know, we've scored the goal better with it, so it can't be that bad. Look at the composure there, by the way. Unbelievable from the new lads and girls of the team. Go on, Beto. Go on, Beto! Go on, Beto! No, no! Oh, he's actually sick. I can't wait for him to get upgraded. Beto's back post. Beto! Beto! Oh, my God. He's actually so good. I love him. Great, great dominant first half that. We could and perhaps should if my aim was a little bit better with the precision shooting and if he didn't have Allison, be three goals up. Go, Beto! What a player! Come on! What a man. I love him. I love him already. Sit down, Allison, mate. Wow. That is an absolute cluster. We won't say the other word because I like ad revenue. I thought my goalie's just going to get it. Uh-oh. 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 Good finish. He's either passed the controller to his big brother at half time or just got a couple of lucky bounces and passes. I don't really know. Oh, that's a terrible goal if I score yet. I'll take it, though. I'll take it, though. That's one all on stinky goals. Tried the new skill move. Got super lucky. Oh, Nana bags. Oh, Nana's got a bit about him, you know. He has got a bit about him. He's got a bit about him. Is that a Beto hat trick? Is that a Beto hat trick? In game number one against the God Squad. Do you know what? Oh, Nana could be classes when he's evolved. He is really good anyway. Who's he just subbed on? Come on, mate. I can't. It's like playing against myself. He subbed on Papan. It's actually like playing against myself on my other account. This is disgusting. Ooh, I thought he was bagging one more. There we go. Game number one. Beto Hattrick. 4-2 against our God Squad. Get that match ball, mate. Take it home with you. There'll be plenty more of them to come. What a start.
What a debut that was. A hat-trick in his first game. I really want to put a chem style on him, but I'm also worried that there is a bug currently where your Evo players can go back to their normal gold card. So I'm not going to touch him. I'm just going to leave him on basic. It's fine. He gets 95 strength. He gets some sprint speed. He gets some attacking positioning and stuff. Bit of agility, bit of dribbling. It's not the end of the world. I think a hunter gives him max pace and crazy shooting once he's fully evolved, which is mad. So we might have to do that. An engine would also be good for a bit of agility and balance. But we're just going to jump into a game and hopefully win the second one. And if we win our first two, better we'll get an upgrade. Okay, Evolution versus a Liverpool badge called Shush FC. Bros got bronzes. Nice. Better was on the assist train instead now. He actually is. What a finish. What a finish. Is that a win? Is this guy out of here? Is he gone? Is he sick of his bronzes? He is. Upgrade to Beto, baby. Get him in the squad. There we go. Evolution number one. Complete. Plus three pace. Plus three shooting. Plus one overall. Thank you very much. Win four more games and he'll get dribbling physical and weak foot. This is in games then after this upgrade. We've had the shooting and pace one. And it does make me think, do you know what? We probably should go with a hunter. Once he have sorted the bug out and he won't get reset. Because that would be putting us up to... Let me check on Footbin. If I popped a hunter on him, you get... Plus 8 acceleration and plus 8 sprint speed. So you'd have max sprint speed and 93 acceleration. With a lot of shooting boosts as well. However, let's keep going. Up next, a gold team. A nice gold team. Musiala, Nabri, Werner going for the Evo. Sané. It's a good Bundesliga squad. I like it. Go on, my other lengthy boy. My other lengthy Everton boy. Oh, great save. Cheeky little use of the player lock there, by the way. Well in, Andy. That could come in clutch. Oh my god, he's just Megda. He's actually just Megda. Get back, Alex. What a finish. Holy moly, what a goal. Better. Oh my god. Why is this trap so good? I've just greened that. I've been slandering my, in, the, in the stream to the chat. People who spend hundreds of thousands of coins on goalies. Maybe this is why. All right, a difficult half. This guy's team is very good. I've not been playing the best, to be honest with you. Missed a couple of chances, missed a couple of key passes, and he got a goal. And it was a nice goal, to be fair. A mega and a good finish. Other than that, he just tries to, tries to kind of sprint at me. It's not been very effective. I just need to get some effective attack on myself. Oh, he's actually unstoppable when he gets going. Wow. Terrible goalkeeping that time for Trap. Insane run from Beto. Pretty terrible finish from me with the precision shooting. But we've got lucky and Trap has spilled it into his own goal from Dan Juma. Nice. Oh my god, that's my centre-back that I've just read time to shot with. Wow, that is poor. Do you know what? I deserve to win in this game. My finishing has not been great. I think the precision sh shooting is making me hit too many chances straight to the goalie because I'm making sure to aim the stick at the goal. I need to get better at aiming the stick at the side of the goal, but not, but still at the goal. Otherwise, he'll spoon it out for a throw-in. But uh, we deserve to win in this game. This guy's play style is just sprint at my defense. And it's not working too well for him, which is good. Oh, no, and loves a goal, you know. He loves a goal. All right, that's my first proper goal. I'll take that. That was nice. That was a good finish. How's that not gone in? I was so unselfish with Beto. I passed it to Dan Juma. I green timed it. He needs the five-star We cover in the Evo, doesn't he? Wow. That is... This guy's tilted. Go on, ref cam. Show us the yellow card. I don't know what you think you're doing, Dan Juma, mate. Our go takes the pens. There we go. Another dub. Another man of the match performance for Beto. What a man. All right, we need three more wins. Rather than me showing you the highlights of every single game, I will go and get them done. 
and I'll come back and show you his stats. We're into Div 9, and I'll show you how good his card looks once it's fully upgraded. Here we go then. It has been a very long time because this game is really difficult. I'm getting better at it. Beto is incredible. Wait until you see his stats. We've just finished off the final win that we needed for him. We've got win number six after a 5-4 thriller. I was two or three goals down at one point and then put in an absolute shift in the second half to come back. Look at that in the top corner. Evolutions level available to claim. That is what we are here for. Get me over to my evolutions and get my Beto upgraded. Oh, that looks good. Found his Evo complete. Beto is in the squad. Wait until I show you guys this man's stats. Absolutely unbelievable. And also, a, a secondary shout out. Amaduo Nana. What a card. Almost a goal contribution pair game from centre mid. And he's 76 non-rare and can be upgraded loads. I was talking about, do I do Onana or do Corey? I think it's got to be Onana, you know, the way he's been putting a shift in. He's so good. Beto, in Div Rivals, 11 games, 18 goals, 6 assists. And one of them, which I think you guys seen in the video, was a rage quit. So technically, it's 10 games, 18 goals, 6 assists. What a player. And now he's fully upgraded with 97 strength with the basic camp style. Oh my god. I am excited for this card. He's already insane. I already love him. I'm already so glad that I did him instead of Danjuma. Who, by the way, shout out to Danjuma, is doing good as well. But Beto's the man. What a player. I think we're going to go Onana. We're going to wait and see whether Tarkovsky gets an inform. I don't know what to do with the winger one, so please let me know the comments and suggestions down in the comment section. Could even technically be an ex Everton winger if there's a really, really good option of one. For now, though, thank you for watching Evolution Everton. We've got our first Evolution for Everton. I'll see you next time.